Hello. So, much like me, you are here because you want to know why I'm starting a YouTube channel. So do I. Uh, in fact, right now I'm wondering why I've, why I've done it because I feel quite embarrassed. My main reason for starting a YouTube channel is um, f to have something interesting to do um, and work on and master. Because uh, when I travel, so my for context, my um, I, I've been a teacher for two years. Um, I taught English at a secondary school in Northamptonshire, uh, doing the Teach First program, and uh, now I have quit my job and I'm going travelling. Uh, and I'm going to take a camera with me and I'm going to document it and see how that goes. The idea of that really, really excites me because I, I it sounds really geeky, but I like to like tr do something and then get better at it. So, um, for example, I've, I've, um, so I would say that, um, is maybe about 30% of it. It's quite a large proportion of why I'd like to do it. Um, so I'd say the second big reason is probably um, when I travel, I want to I, I want to have something to look back on and, and something that I can um, like capture the memories that I'm that I'm going to make when I go. And I feel like taking um, taking videos and like making them into a, into a like maybe somewhat coherent video of something to do with what I'm doing it will be a really cool way to look back on it um, because I currently don't have any other way of doing that other than just taking videos of stuff and taking photos and um, yeah it, when I come back from 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 traveling I think that um, I'll I'll like even if this fails I'll like having something to look back on um, I'd say another big reason is, um, so Ali Abdal, who is a YouTuber who I think is very cool, um, has this, or has this phrase that I've heard him use called increasing the surface area of serendipity, which means that you, if things that you do, uh, in, in the world, so say I, I'm part of a football team and then, uh, I also play an instrument, my surface area of serendipity is increased because I, We'll meet people through the football team and through playing an instrument, and then uh, I'll have more chances of meeting someone cool who will maybe be helpful for me in the future. Um, of like, you know, serendipities like that kind of happen chance good thing that might happen to you. Um, so that's what that's a, that's another big reason. A part of me has has wondered like, am I just doing this for my ego? Um, which is quite an uncomfortable thought, really, if you dig down into it, because um, you, nobody wants to be like t governed by their ego, I don't think. Um, and I think, and like, I've wondered, like, is this just really attention seeky and self promotion -y and blah, 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 blah. But then I thought, that's an aspect of it, like maybe five or 10%. But I think. It's a small aspect and I think if I'm, like, even if it doesn't go, even if after a year I've made 60 videos or however many I've made and um, I have like 10 subscribers, even if that is the case, I will still have a collection of memories from a really exciting time in my life that I can look back on and remember. And I think that that idea that even if it fails, it's still a win. Like the only investment I've made so far is buy a GoPro, um, and I'll keep that and I could sell it, you know, at the end of the year. So, I've, I've one of the big another big reason is like the time investment is pretty low, um, which is good. I think that's I think that some some things that I've like really pondered about about starting one is, isn't it just a bit odd? Like who, who I don't know anyone. And I suppose this is a bit old fashioned. I don't personally know anyone who makes content, like is a content creator. So like, it, does, it, does it even work? Like, I know that's a stupid question, but yeah. So that's, that's one thing. And also I felt it like, I feel it right now. I'm sitting in front of a camera in a room on my own, speaking to it. And that is 
effectively maybe one of the main jobs of being a YouTuber, which is quite peculiar, especially when I'm used to like standing in front of a room full of kids and actually maybe trying to teach them something, you know, this is, a, this is quite peculiar. So that's been, that's been like a, uh, an anxiety, I guess you could call it, uh, or like a, a mental hold up for starting. Um, but it's just like the, f it, like the worst that can happen is that I make an absolute tit of myself. And I mean, I, I feel like I sometimes willingly do that. So it's, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, you never know. Boogie! <gasps>